Thank you very much. And uh, Somalia, first of all, is a unique country that is just coming back from a long way of absence and difficult times in the past. And challenges are too many, environmental, man-made, uh, natural, all this put together, poverty, all put together creates a lot. Plus, circumstances that were not allowing the people to farm or to produce food at their limited capacity even, security. And now Somalia is a time we are emerging from that a difficult situation. After 30 years of difficulties, the irrigation system, the flood control mechanism, all these have been devastated. And we are in a situation where half of the year we are in a dry, without water, and the next half we are flooding, flooding. We restarted uh, revitalizing our productive sector, the livestock, the agriculture. For us, agriculture and livestock are separate, uh, and the fishery, of course, the or maritime blue economy. So now is a time that the people has got a breathing space and went back. What we do is that we are reorganizing now and starting the cooperatives of the communities in the rural area, both in the agriculture, livestock, and the maritime resources as well. So it is only a beginning, and there is a scarcity of food. A year ago, half of the Somali population was at the risk of famine. Now they are not, but the, the, the factors that cause it or that threaten the famine to the people are still remaining in place. Regarding the accessibility of international financing, uh, it's, very, it's very difficult for Somalia, yet we have not accessed it fully because of the HEBIC situation. We are at the completion point of HEBIC by the end of this year. We need a new approach of financing the food systems, not the traditional one that was existing there. And Somalia is a very resourceful country. When you assess the situation in Somalia, there is no reason or there is no f factor or variable that compels Somalia to be a, 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 a lack of food in terms of agriculture, in terms of livestock, in terms of fishery, in terms of... But the circumstances, the political circumstances that were existing in the country has compelled the people to be... So, I think the best option for that is, number one, those countries who are fragile must be pursued to become politically stable. Somalia today has started to prepare the ground for that purpose, for political stability and for security stability as well. So it is now on that we are going back to many international organizations that we haven't been there. Uh, for long years, decades even. So financing Somalia is, both, is coming both from public financing by the government, by the international uh, financing institutions, and from the private, by the banks and cooperatives and diaspora as well. So it's only the beginning, but the prospects are very, very good and positive in Somalia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.